Hey my awesome people, Hamza here and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a stylish Elementor card, beautifully styled up like this with all the contents, images and buttons. But most importantly, I'll show you a trick on how you can add an inner section inside an inner section in Elementor. Let's get started. We will start by adding an inner section. This inner section will have three columns. The first column will be 38%. Second column 38% as well, and the last column will take the rest. Inside this first column, we want to have another inner section. And if I come over here to the widgets area and I grab an inner section, you realize that I'm unable to add an inner section inside these other columns. So the question is, how do you add an inner section inside an inner section? There is a trick around that. What you're going to do is simply come over here, copy the column of the main section. Come to your column inside the inner section and then paste that column. That way you are going to be able to have an inner section inside an inner section, just like you see here. So what I'm going to do is to delete whatever I don't want. So I'll also delete these other inner sections. In our first column, we're going to give it a background type, which is an image. I'll add a spacer widget. I'll give it 254 pixels, back to our column, under position, I'll set it to be custom. For the X position, I'll give it negative 15 pixels. And for the Y position, I'll give it negative 76 pixels. For the size, I'll set that to cover. Inside my inner section, which is inside this column, I'm going to add my heading widget, a text editor widget, an icon list widget and a button widget. I'll select my inner section under style. I'll add a background type, which is going to be our background color, but a little bit transparent. I'll select the column under advanced. I'll remove all the paddings. Now I'll select the inner section column under advanced. I'll add padding of 20 pixels. I'll select the main column still. I'll make it to take over 38%. I'll now select my main heading widget. And inside here, we'll add our content. So this is going to be spicy curry. Under style, we'll add a text color of white. Under typography, we'll give it our Poppins font. For the text editor widget, under style, we're going to change the text color to white and typography is going to be our, our content text. We'll as well add our content. For our list item, we're going to delete all the other list items, remain with only one list item, add our content, in this case it is the time, choose an icon from the icons library, under style, icon, we're going to change the color to white, the text color, and that is also going to be white. For our typography, we're going to change that to our content text. I'll come to advanced positioning. We will change the width from default to inline auto. We select our button, add our button text. We'll change the button text to order now. The size of the button is medium. You'll have to add a link where your website visitor will be redirected on clicking the button. You add the link over here. Under size, I'll select medium. And under the icon option, I'm going to go to the icons library and select an arrow, which is this. I'll set it to be after. And under style, typography, I'll choose our buttons font. For the text color, we'll choose our yellow color. And for the background type, it's going to be our white color. For the border radius, it's going to be 35. Since this button is inside this card, we can maybe reduce on the font size, so we don't use the global button font style. I'll select the button, under typography, I'll choose this to be like a 15, with our button selected, under advanced, positioning, under the width option, I'll change this to inline auto. Now we have our button in the same alignment as our time. We're going to select our inner section, layout, vertical align and select middle. So we have everything in here aligned to the middle of the section. 
we'll select our time under advanced padding a padding of 10 on the right hand side in fact 20 looks way better something like this we'll select our column to add a rounded border just over here at the top under style border and link the border radius and on the right hand side we are going to give it a 35 now that gives us a rounded border up over here so far all looks good but we want to add a hover transition on this image so we are going to select the column and under background overlay we on hover we are going to add our heading color and for the transition it's going to be about 0 0.3 We'll also change the transition to 0 0.5 and maybe we can reduce further opacity to around 0 0.2 something like this all right now everything looks nice and neat what we are going to do is now to duplicate this column duplicate delete this other column make sure that this column is still 38 percent second column 38% as well. We'll select the first column under advanced and link the margin values. On the right hand side, we are going to give it 15 pixels. And on the second column under advanced, we'll unlink the margins. And on the right hand side, we'll also give it 15 pixels just to add this extra space of white. We will now edit the content of the second column. We'll start with the background image under style. Choose another image, add the heading of your choice. Under the time option, select the icon list. Change the time to the time of your choice. In the last column, background style, we're going to add an image. This image is going to cover and we're going to add some content in here. We'll add our text editor widget and our icon widget. With this column selected, under layout, vertical align everything will be in the middle select our icons widget come to the icons library and look up for an arrow i'll come to the style we'll change our arrow color to white and on hover we're going to change that color to our yellow select the text editor widget and we're going to change this to see more under style text color is going to be white and the typography is going to be our content text. We will update and have a preview of this page. We need now to center our content in the text editor, this over here. I'll come back to the editor, select our text editor widget, and the alignment will set it to center. This is it here. We're going to add a rounded border at the top here, and also to make this column clickable. Back inside our editor, select our column come to style and a border and link the values the border radius on the right hand side is going to be 35. now we have that rounded border here with still our column selected under layout you can add a link over here on the column link option now you've enabled that once someone is on this column over here they can simply click anywhere and they're redirected to a page of your choice now let's go and style up our buttons on hover. With our button selected, under style, hover, the text color will change to a white. And the background color will also change to our yellow color. Same for the other button. Under style, on hover, text color white. I'll save as a draft and also update our page. Before we close up our tutorial, Let's look into the responsive settings of our meal card section or our custom cards in Elementor. Under responsive mode, we have the option to choose a tablet device. Over here on the tablet device, it looks fine, but you can do some further adjustments like for example on the icon widget, we can add some padding at the bottom. So in this case, I can say unlink and add some padding of like a 30 at the bottom. 30 looks big. Let me make a 10. The same also for this other icon widget under advanced and link the padding. And at the bottom, I'll put a 10. That's 10 pixels. This looks fine. For the mobile device, for our section, 
looks fine but we can add some padding in between the first card and a second card so by selecting the first column coming under advance i'm going to add some margin at the bottom so i'll unlink the figures and add a margin of 15 pixels something like that so we have this space and this other space on the very last column awesome back to our desktop view it still looks fine nothing has changed so we can simply now update and look at the preview thank you so much for watching i hope this video brought you value and now you know exactly how you can create an inner section inside an inner section but also how you can create stylish elemental custom cards just like this over here so in case you like the video make sure that you hit the like button and if you're new to the channel don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so that you don't miss out on new videos when i push them out have a good time and goodbye